I'm at the house of John Dixon. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. How's it going? Oh, you got a nice house. What the house? You live here by yourself? Uh, most of the time. Oh. All the time. Most of the time. Who? Got a couple of big critters. What kind of critters? Uh, Bengals. There's oh. one. That's Chloe. And uh, she's sitting down, so you can't tell how big she is. And her brother's in here. Uh, wow, the music industry has done you good. <laughs> her brother's there. That's Milo. Milo. So there's no other humans that live in here. Uh, no, it looks like there ought to be for all the. Oh well, then let me go ahead and the... open this up then. <laughs> let me, you know, put on the charm, honey, because he got a pool and everything. <laughs> oh, let me see. Uh -huh. Where's your studio? Uh, it's out back. Look at that TV. He he need that. he's single, y'all. I'm gonna get his number. I'm gonna put it on the website. Watch. <laughs> Roses? Yeah, I just cool. put them back. They were looking real good and then they, you know, then they don't look so good. So yeah. <sighs> I know. Oh my Love gosh. Like, I want to see the studio. Right. I'm excited. Wow. This is in North Hollywood. Orange trees? Sherman Oaks. North Sherman Oaks. Oh, yeah. No. no. Palm tree? He says yeah. all casual, Palm but see, tree. he works with some of the greatest musicians ever. Okay, so can you name a few? Oh, I thought you were gonna walk around. Oh, um, there's more? Yeah, you know. Look at the pool. Around here. I I'll gotta get bikini ready, okay? Eventually do something back here, pool table or I don't know, ping pong table or something. Okay. I can throw a few parties out here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I wanna Let's see where you make the magic happen. <laughs> now you are what you call what's your title? Like what do you do? Uh I'm a composer, musician. Oh but burn notice that you happen to have that yes. Okay. Shameless plug there, USA yes. USA Network. USA Network. USA. Okay. New shows July oh. 10. Oh. New shows July 10th. Now what do you do for the show? I write the score. I write all the music. You write all the music? Yeah. I mean they use songs occasionally from time to time other places, but I write all the score and the theme and all that stuff. By yourself out of your head? Mm-hmm. And this is where you do it? Or? This is it. Do you ever rent this out? Um, not without me, but I have booked the room to record singers and other musicians and things if I'm working with them. How much do you charge for that? Like, what does that run? Uh, it'd be 110, 150 bucks an hour. An hour? Wow! <laughs> oh! Tell me about this award. Uh, which one are you looking at? Uh, well, oh, ha Harry Connick Jr. You worked with him? Yeah. Harry Connick Jr.? Yeah. Oh, uh, what did you do? Played French horn on that album. You played a French horn also? That was my first professional job out here. Is he nice? He's great. He was great. It's before I even moved here. I just kind of lucked into that one. But yeah, he's great. Now this one, that's a big, I guess they're all big, but... This is the new one. That's the ASCAP award that I got the other night. Now you have to be pretty good. Yeah. You've got to be on a really successful show. Okay. And luckily, Burn Notice is. Yes! So that worked out. I need you to name <laughs> drop, like who was there? Like, start with the black people, because I probably know that person. <laughs> okay? I mean. Well, let's see. There was... Oh, yeah. There was... Um, well, Quincy Jones was there. He Quincy was the Jones? Q? He was, Q was there. He was there to honor Marilyn and Alan Bergman, uh, for the, the great lyricists, and he was one of their friends and colleagues that was there. And but you didn't get a chance to talk to him. I him. did. You did? I did. I got a chance to talk with him briefly at his table, and... It was, uh, it's amazing to get to spend any time with a, with a cat like that. And uh, I'm real good friends with a very good friend of his, so oh. I had an icebreaker. Oh, so you had a way in. Yeah, I had a nice icebreaker. Was he him. there when you got the award? He was. Oh my gosh, that is good. That is really, really good. So who else have you worked with? Um, Are you ma mainly jazz? Is that what the score is on Burn Notice? Or you can play no, anything? it isn't. Uh, the score on Burn Notice, has a, a, a wide range from some things are kind of jazzy I wouldn't call it jazz necessarily but there's some kind of funky sort of uh, it's based in Miami so there's some sort of funky sort of oh, Miami my sound. Vice got my and then there's um, wow. you know it's spies and technology and all that so it runs a gamut got a little bit of a born identity sort of a feel sometimes and there's a lot of action so it covers a pretty good range how much they pay you about a uh, nice. It's nice. Like millions? No. <laughs> no. Like I don't know. Like what? 
So how do you, someone even... No one know? talks about it. No one talks I'm, about it. But I'm, you're just talking to me. That's, you know. Uh-huh, you and uh-huh. Well, uh -huh. I'm just, <laughs> like, about, I mean, is it just you by yourself? You have this orchestra? I have a mixture, and I have musicians that I work with every week. They're at the studio. I mean, at the... They come here. They come here? They what, come here. what day do they come here? <laughs> if I just happen to, you know. My mixture works both at his studio and my studio because they're similar. And then uh, musicians either will record at their studios and then we move files around or sometimes they'll come here. But there's no keyboard in here. Sure there is. Oh! <laughs> okay, can you tell me how much this setup costs? Like, is this like your basic setup if you want to just... Well, I've been investing in this, you know, for a good while. And, um, and it's shrunk. I, I used to have a lot bigger board and more boxes and more gear. And as computer technology gets better and better, things shrink and things go more into the box. This, my favorite thing in here is the desk. A guy named Robert Byer made that desk. And um, I, he just did a great job on it. Oh, and this is some of the stuff? Oh, is there anything kind of set up that I can hear a little bit? Or sure. No? Oh, is it? Really? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it'll sound like on your camera, but... But how often, you're talking about one or two songs every week or like four or five songs each show? Like, how does that even uh, work? It's, it's usually 20 or 30 pieces of music per show. You write 30 new pieces or you can you collect it for the show? New pieces. Out your head, by yourself. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I knew that you were good, but... <laughs> Well, I mean, how often is a show? You're not, you're talking about Once 30? Once a week. No. Yeah. Okay, so a musical piece could be like, wah, wah, wah. You're not talking about a whole full. I'm talking about a whole full piece of score every week. Have you ever worked with anybody from The Tonight Show? Um, I used to know a couple guys in the band. Okay. Like, I mean, maybe Bradford, certainly... he's more jazzy or. I worked with Bradford. Uh, oh, okay. Back in the day, when, when I first moved here, I did a couple of uh, shows that Branford was on. Really, really cool to work with him. Okay. Um, and I used to know, I don't think I know anybody left in the band because they, you know, they changed up. They changed personnel every now and then. All um, right, I'm ready to hear something. So let me make sure everything is hooked up properly because I just got new speakers and, and I'm literally testing stuff out. This is what it sounds to make millions of dollars. Oh, come on now. I mean, you got to be able to write 30 songs, okay? Everyone probably think, oh, I can write a song for a show. But you're talking 30, <laughs> oh, 30 a week. No wonder you're single. <laughs> oh. I'm just going to have to start dropping women off at your house. Well, well just, right. just me, maybe. <laughs> no, just kidding. JohnDixonMusic.com. And spell Dixon because people spell it. D I C K S O N. JohnDixonMusic.com. And I, I had a lot of work to do on that, but I'm gradually getting it done. And I've also got a MySpace page. Same story. I'll be adding some stuff to that too. Okay, so you do any kind of music for commercials or not are you an actor at all? Or? I've done a little acting. That's not my main thing for but, sure. But y'all, how much real can actors, you make? enough good real actors out there. How much can one make? Like if they just happen to write music for a show like Burner, just approximately. Like are we talking like a hundred thousand? Are we you talking make, like fifty thousand? You like can make a, a nice. You can make a nice living. The thing is, every entry level show, every young composer is going to make a certain amount. And About the more what, you like, work, like I have no idea, John. Like I know this is not going to even be my dream at all for myself. But I'm just, just curious. Yeah. Um, we talk thousand. I mean, you got to do thirty songs. It's com it's a comfortable look. He ain't gonna tell me nothing. No, but you know, look, you. Look, but look at his house now. You know he making a good grip, y'all. He is making a good grip. He's trying to. He being modest, but he know he making some. Your tenth show pays better than your first show. Your fifteenth show pays better than your tenth show. And the trick with with writing for film and TV is just getting a lot of music out on the air because the residuals through a company like ASCAP or something are what begin to start coming in, and they help. All and right. you can't predict those, but they do add up. All right, well, they've been adding up pretty good. <laughs> All right, over and out.